I'm standing here on top of the uh, faculty house, the greenest building in New Cairo, if not in Cairo. And it's uh, considered um, a showcase for uh, conversion of existing buildings to uh, more of a greener and more of a quality greener living. The building is fitted out with green technologies, uh, such as solar water heaters, supply the building with 100% of its hot water, totally solar with no electricity. The green roof works as an insulator for the roofs below and it helps with the energy performance of the building. In addition, it's a vegetation and a park for the residents. Other features such as the um, sensors for public corridors and um, lighting which are motion sensored and it actually uh, depends on people's circulation. The main benefit of, a, of this green building, other than cutting down energy, is an educational benefit for the student community. Having a hands-on case study to work on, part of their coursework, provides a great amenity for working hands-on and apply their learning in classroom. Green architecture is critical for Egypt in the future as Egypt continues to face more energy challenges every year. This building um, is considered one of the most recent retrofitted buildings in Egypt because of its nature as an existing building. It's a conversion from existing to green. So the lessons learned from this building are extremely important to deal with our existing building stock in Egypt. The um, sustainability efforts by the campus have been mentioned in the Princeton Review. And in addition, we were given the opportunity to host a lead lab for the first time, um, one of four institutions outside the U.S. to host such a lab for the, stu for the undergraduate students to learn lead hands-on, lead certification, and how to put green buildings together in school before they graduate. Our dreams are big. We are part of the community and we have the responsibility to address problems in Egypt. And that's the beauty of what we do at the American University in Cairo.